हाँ द बॉडी एग्जिस्ट नो द बॉडी इज स्टिल अ लाइफ सपोज दिस बॉडी हैज अ शेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ नाइंटी ईयर्स एंड द पर्सन गेट्स एन लाइट एंड एट फोर्टी द रिमेनिंग ईयर्स फिफ्टी ईयर्स हैव टू बी वट एवर एग्जॉस्टेड सो द रेग्युलर इम्प्रेशन विल कम अप आई एम हंग्री एम थर्स्टी आई नीड टू यूज द रेस्ट रूम there are those basic impressions of the body the body is getting older or oh, the stomach has a problem and it's not digesting as it digested 20 years ago so all those things are going to continue so the basic rajas tamas and sattva those basic gunas of the body mind will continue so those impressions can never come down to zero until the body mind dies is that very very clear yeah. yes plus the way ekta speaks can that change that cannot change can ekta's voice change no at at the most will become a little feeble and fragile in in the 70s in the 80s the senior age but the style of the body yeah which we actually uh, put in the bracket of the mind's personality the way the person speaks the i cannot start suddenly speaking chinese no i have no idea and i am going to speak the language that this body mind was trained so i'm giving you two three examples like that similarly you have a makeup in because of your surroundings or your cultural conditioning your whatever language conditioning those things those are also impressions right and those are not going anywhere they will die with the body right not before so basic these basics will not go anywhere very very clear even after enlightenment they don't go the only thing is i recognize i am not this i am not this body mind that speaks only in this english language that who doesn't know hindi very well who doesn't know marathi very well or doesn't know chinese at all this association with the body minds characteristics completely breaks away yeah it is just functioning it is functioning like a film you watch a film for some time you become one with the character and then a point comes when you separate away from the character yeah just like that you separate away from this body mind and it continues according to its remaining impressions which are the basic impressions of the deha buddhi but i do not associate with it theek hai so most of you have this wrong kind of uh, thing that thoughts will completely cease no 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 thoughts will not cease completely i put this in flock also thoughts cannot cease completely it is not a possibility till this body mind is alive and kicking how can thoughts completely go away even the sensation of hunger is a thought yes even the feeling oh it's cold the body is feeling cold is a thought everything is a thought and if you really understood last week's chapter you would have understood this body is a thought it does not really exist i have no proof of the existence of this physical body of this mind last week's chapter was very essential it was the first chapter first step into ajatvada in atmanivritti scripture so if you understood last week's chapter very clearly you will understand everything is a thought everything yeah beginning from that no thingness feel the moment the sense of i am came up 
the recognition of myself when the consciousness recognizes itself that's a thought it's not saying i recognize myself it's not even saying i it's just a recognition abhas hone ka ehsas so that itself is the first thought from that whatever dreams emerge sight sound smell taste touch each of it is a thought everything is a thought every image is a thought so the body that i had in the dream that was also a thought the mind that i had in the dream that was also a thought everything is a thought from that i move into the waking state the body the physical body the sensation of heaviness of the physical body lying on the bed still just the eyes have opened up that also is a thought the room is a thought everything has been just projected out did you recognize this aspect of that chapter everything is a thought there is nothing other than thought i have a picture to show you you see a projector yeah this projector has light inside it and it projects light it projects light and the images appear on the screen okay now whatever those images are we look at that later what is the projector really it is the source of the light correct now you think you put yourself into that kind of a, a situation where you think i am the projector i am the source of this knowledge and i am projecting thoughts yes you are a special kind of projector that can project thoughts and you the projector itself is knowledge knowledge is projecting thoughts so what do you see outside thoughts you cannot see anything else but thoughts you don't experience anything else but thoughts just like if this projector was alive and it was looking at its own light going out what would the projector say oh it's all light the projector would not say oh there's a hero on the screen there's a heroine there's a villain the projector will say no the hero is also light the heroine is also light the villain is light the good man is light the bad man is light the child is light the parent is light the whole situation is light money is light there is nothing but light that is what the projector would say what will you the special projector that projects thoughts say the husband is thought the child is thought the mother the father is thought the wife is thought the money is thought the job is thought the happy situation outside is also thought the sad situation is also thought nothing but thought there is only thought i am a special kind of projector that just projects thought is this very clear yeah so this entire world is nothing but thought every morning i project every night i halt or i pause this projection again next morning i project so the main thing of ajatvad the, the step from drishti srishti vad to ajatvad is experientially seeing this projection if you don't experientially see you cannot move to ajatvad yes it's no point memorizing this it does not telling you anything from memory 
Nikita is just talking. What is her experience? She's trying to explain this best in her words. Yeah, but I have to experience it in my own personal recognition. Ekta's word should not be enough for me to say I recognize it. Do you get this? Yeah, I'm not a proponent of belief. No ways. So, if you really are serious about your path, Inward, I have to face inward all the time. Yeah. Once I see it very clearly in my coming from the deep sleep, from my only state of nothingness where the projector is off, I only see the first light come on. You know, when the projector starts, the light is not bright. It first is very blurry. Yeah, that's the sense of I am. And then I see it becoming brighter and brighter. And then the final projection from the dreaming to the waking state. Oh, I see myself come on every morning and I see myself shut down every night. Then I know for sure, yes, everything is thought. Is this clear? What I'm saying is clear. Yeah. So it has to become experiential recognition. That is why I don't force and I don't run through the chapters. I give you some time to really experientially recognize it. This is exactly what I wanted to say through the virtual headset uh, analogy that I gave. Uh -huh. But you... You went even one step closer by calling yourself a projector. Mm -hmm. Because the projector box, we all are the same projector box. Mm -hmm. What is different is those cloud of impressions in each projector box is that the only so-called different things, which makes the movie that's coming out as Ekta or Swati. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, now I can see much more clearly how everything is a thought. Yes. So, this is what I really want you to go deep into. Experientially. Recognize it. Make your husband or wife sit in front of you today. Yeah? Now you go to the real problems of life. First, make your spouse sit in front of you. He, she can talk whatever they want. They can continue. And you let your body mind engage in that interaction. But take that step back. and. Watch, isn't this a thought? Am I not projecting this? And not just what this body mind is saying right now to him or her. Isn't he also just a thought? Do I have any proof that this guy exists or this woman exists? How much ever you touch, you hug, still there is no proof. It's like a 4D movie going on. Yeah, you go to an IMAX and you see those 3D movies, you know, those Avatar and Matrix and all those things coming at you. You feel like, oh, this is so real. It's exactly like that. Advaita says this is a 4D movie. Yeah, How four dimensions? Length, breadth, height and time. There is time added here, which is not there in a 3D movie. So, this is a four-dimensional movie going on with my family, with my kit and kin. Yeah. Recognize this. So, moment to moment to moment, you have to actually start seeing this is all thought. This is thought. This is thought. This session is a thought. Ikta is a thought. There is no proof for you whether Ekta really exists or not. You have no proof. You could very well be dreaming. You've created some Ekta in your own head. Who knows whether she exists? So, to go there, first you have to see it in the night. The beginning of the projection is very important. It's essential because it will make your understanding firm. 
it will make your understanding yes this is my truth i know it and once that becomes very clear then will you take some big covid pandemic as oh such a big thing in my life or some financial problem in the house you'll make it a big thing no a problem with the spouse with the mother in law with the father in law will not be anything just a thought just a thought just a thought i projected this i projected this oh, nice nice film you'll just watch the film now this is the only way to get out of suffering there is no other way to get out of the suffering of body mind world yeah so this is the only way what is the way see reality as it is not as you have imagined it to be the projection is imagination that is why my projection is different from her projection is different from his projection my imagination no i imagine the tiger and i am expecting the tiger should be in her life not in my life your tiger your imagination why will he growl at him or her yeah so whenever i project anything i experience it back as perception projection is the karma perception back is the karma phalam i cannot but experience whatever i project so there are all these wonderful sayings no that if somebody is saying something bad to you don't worry they are going to only go through it how does that work you unnecessarily start feeling bad oh she said bad to me she said bad to me it's not a reflection of you it's a reflection of her or his mind why because it has been projected by that person that way and that's why he perceives you like that so his perception itself is his karma phalam he is going through the churning and suffering in his head thinking you are like that you did this to me you did that to me do you even have proof that that person exists so crazy but he doesn't get it now you get it oh, it's my thought and back the perception back is the reflection of my thought that is why on the buddha's path we say just pure vinyana you cut out the sanya what is sanya all that I, it comes back and i start processing the data and then i say this is like this i put that label i put that label you cut out the sanya pure vinyana pure vinyana i am just seeing whatever i have projected I'm not taking anything back. And those who've not done Buddha, you can watch the videos. This is like in the first one or two videos itself. Buddha begins here. Now, do you understand why I say Buddha is like really high level? First video is this: Vinyana, Sanya, Vedana, Sankara. Do you remember? Yeah. This is where Buddha begins. He doesn't. to even go through the initial knowledge that brings you till here okay so start recognizing very very important i recognize the projection from deep sleep to dreaming to waking 